Hello everyone, my name is Hina Patel and today I'm going to show you how to find concentrations using Goal Seek in Excel. The computer that I'm using is Mac and I have Microsoft Office 2008. Our question is A and B reacts as follows A plus B gives C plus D. The equilibrium constant is 2.0 times 10 to the third power. If 0.3 moles of A and 0.8 moles of B are mixed in 3 liters, what are the concentrations of A, B, C, and D after the reaction? Our first step is to organize all our given values. You write down your K, which is also the equilibrium constant. You write down A and B, or C and D, whichever are given. You write down the volume if it's given, an X value and a Q value. X value is what we're going to find so you always leave that blank and q value is the equation that will up, that we will obtain from step two step two we write down our equation a plus b the reactants c plus d the products we use the ice method to find the equation i is for initial c is for change and e is for equilibrium going back to our first step our q val k value is this, which is 2.0 times 10 to the third power, which is 2.0. We use E as a substitution for times, times 10 to the third power. A is 0.3 moles and B is 0.8 moles. Our volume in this case is 3 liters. If you notice here, A and B are in moles. Since we're dealing with concentrations, we need them in molarity. The formula for molarity is moles over liters. So we take our 0.3 moles, divide them by the given liters, which is 3. Do the same for B, 0.8 moles divided by 3 liters. And there we have our concentrations. Going to step 2. Our initial for A is 0.1 that we calculated. Our initial for B is 0.266667 and there we have our concentrations and C is 0 and D is also 0. One thing to remember is that in the reactants you always subtract X and you always add X to the products. So here subtracting X, subtracting X also for B and then in the products we add X. Now combining step I and C, we are going to write E, which is 0.1, minus our X, since we're subtracting X. In this case, our X cell is also B9. Doing the same for B, our initial minus the change, which is our X. For C, it is simply x because 0 plus x is x. All right, now we're ready to write our equilibrium equation, which is q. Equilibrium equation is the pro products over the reactants. So c times d divided by a times b. Now we're ready to use the goal seek function. For goal seek, you go to tools, find goal seek. Goal seek has three things to fill out set cell, two value, and by changing cell. Set cell is your equilibrium, actually, set cell is your Q value, which has an equation in it. Set cell will always require an equation. 2 value is your equilibrium constant, which in this case is 2000. By changing cell is your x value because you want to change x to obtain your k value. You press OK and there we have our estimated answers. Our x is approximately 0 0.09997002. You can say that it's an approximation because we wanted exactly 2000, however, in this case, it's 2000.00014. Um, our answer is for A, B, C, and D, the concentrations are here. 
However, we started out with two sig figs, so we should have them in two sig figs also. So our concentration for A would be 3.0 times 10 to the negative 5. Our concentration for B would be 0.17. Our concentration for C is 0.1. And our concentration for, sorry, um, 1, 0. And our concentration for D is also 0 0.10. There we have our answer. It said, what are the concentrations of A, B, C, and D after the reaction? And here we have our answers along with our sig figs. One thing to remember is that in this case, our K value was 2000. This um, whole process works for big K values such as 2000. It may not work for values such as 2.0 times 10 to the negative 10th or any smaller number. Thank you for listening.